Hey, welcome back to Life in the Sweet Spot. Let me just remind you, we are halfway home. It is week four. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad that you're sticking with it. And I'm so glad to hear of the amazing things that are already happening in so many groups as people are taking steps to find the sweet spot, to live in the sweet spot, that place of greatest effectiveness, no matter what your circumstances are. I'm proud of you. So last week we talked about finding someone else that's in transition and helping them work through the transition. So you're going to share with your group of how you were able to do that. We're going to hold you accountable to what you said that you would do. And I want to just be able to celebrate the wins of what it meant to other people and what you felt in that moment. Moving to this week in week four, got a couple things I want to share with you. Uh, number one, here's the focus of this week. Failure. Failure. And our scripture comes from Psalm 73, verse 26, and it says this, My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart, and He's my portion forever. I love those amazing words. It tells me it's not all about me, and I can expect my life to have some failure. Failure is part of life. But you know, finding a, a healthy way to deal with it is critical in the lives of believers. You know, I'm so glad that God doesn't hide the failures from these biblical heroes, but our Bible is full of people that had huge, horrific failures. As I was thinking about that this week, I want to remind you that, hey, no person on the planet has ever existed without failure, except for Jesus Christ himself. Failure drives more people away from their sweet spot than perhaps anything else. I wrote this down. Embarrassment, shame, and guilt leave us wanting to retreat from the Lord's presence and from people who love us. Failure causes us to be left alone if we don't deal with it properly. Failure is something that we have a hard time talking about. Um, it's not something that you just want to casually bring into a conversation. Um, but it's one of the ways that we get to know each other. You now, you're going to connect with people more through your losses than you ever will with your wins. We try to impress people with the wonderful things that we've accomplished and done, but people will find more in common with you when you're able to share failures. And I wanna remind you of this, it's only really failure if you didn't learn anything from it. It's only really failure if you didn't learn something from it. So I bet you can guess what our accountability step is. This week, we're not doing something outside the group, we're doing something right inside the group. This week, what you're gonna do is you're gonna share one failure from your life. And yes, you have them, don't act like you don't. You're going to share a failure with the group, and you're going to share what you learned from it, what it taught you. Here's a bonus. Um, is what it taught you the truth? Is what it taught you healthy? What you've processed through, what you've learned from your failure, is it a good thing to learn, or is it something that you've had to do as a defense mechanism? Let's process through that together and allow ourselves to find the sweet spot, the heart of God in the midst of our failures. You can do this. And I'm believing that you're going to get out of this what you put into it. As we get open and accountable, as we get vulnerable with our group, God's going to meet us right in there in the midst of failure. We're going to bond together as a group and watch as the sweet spot becomes something that we walk into it together. It's going to be good and I'm proud of you. Group leaders, it's all on you. <laughs>